Hi, I'm Ashton. Welcome to my channel. So this May is the first time I've ever participated in Mermay. Um, I really admire the people that have time to do one every single day. I only got one done. Um, so right here, this is the reference photo I used, that fish right there. So I'm using my iPad and Procreate to do color picking. Um, the colors from the fish so that when I do my drawing I will know which of my colored pencils that I need to use. I spent a lot of time just trying to figure out what to do with this because like I said I've never done mermaid before. I've never even done a mermaid before. Um, so right now I'm using my Copics which I got from uh, Saphir Lou's tips and tricks on making mermaids. I'll link that in the description below. Um, so what she suggested doing and I am working on a Strathmore uh, toned paper sketchbook here. Uh, what Saphir Lou suggested doing was using Copic markers or just alcohol markers in general to lay down a base coat on the toned paper uh, for your uh, color pencils to go over so that's what I'm doing right here at the basic colors of this mermaid if you can tell are pink and blue so and the hair was a little crazy um uh, the reference photo that I used for the pose for the shoulders is that her hair was not doing any of this uh, so this is me trying to figure out where the heck the hair is going and so I made her skin blue because the fish the fish body was basically blue um, uh, both the reference photos came from Pexels, so I will link them in the description below as well. So yes, more of me coloring in with Copic markers. I, uh, had to, I had, I saw the fish on Pexels and I decided, I thought it was a cool fish. It was like really cool colors with the blue, the blue body and the pink fins and that sort of sort of spoke to me so I decided to use that and so then I went to get a reference photo for the mermaid's upper body and I found a picture of a girl uh, but it was just her shoulders so her arms were making that pose and um, just her shoulders and then okay so here's my sketchbook where I tried to figure out how to join the girl and the fish and I I could not do it. So what I did was I took both reference photos into Procreate and I just moved them around until it the proportions look correct because I cannot figure out how her hips would work in the fish with the fish's tail. I don't know. It was a failure of imagination on my part. Um, so I took it into uh, Procreate and moved it around until it looked sort of natural. I mean, as natural as possible. Um, here what you're seeing me doing is going through my colored pencils and trying to figure out which ones match the color picking that I did with Procreate. Uh, yeah, like right there. Um, that is the color picking I did on Procreate with the fish, and I tried to find my colored pencils that would match that. So yeah, there is the drawing with the Copics in, and I don't think I've started doing any pencil work on it yet. I think I'm about to. And that little piece of paper you see under my hand is a piece of wax paper because it's already gotten icky here in Texas, and I hate when my hands stick to the medium. So I put that piece of wax paper under my hand so that during the summer, I only really need it during the summer. So during the summer, my hands will slide um, instead of getting stuck to the paper, which you can see the wax paper is stuck to me. So hence, this is why I needed that. Um, lots and lots of watching me use colored pencils with this. I wanted her hair to match the colors of the fins, so the fins are really pink, and that's where the idea for the pink of the hair came from. And you can see that reference photo of the fish that you've seen in previous previous shots. And as always with colored pencils, it's just lots of lots of layering, going back, um, trying to get the correct color by layering the pencils on top of each other. I should have gone faster through this part. Maybe I'll play some music. Yeah, that wax.
box paper is my friend for bullet journaling, planner pages, any sort of paper art kind of thing. It's you if you. And that's me still trying to figure out which part of her hair is in front of her arm and which is behind her arm. And I hopefully was able to correct it a bit because I think I had a strand that should have been in front or should have been behind, but I colored it like it was in front, or I put the line work in like it was in front. And this is her fabulous pink hair that matches her fins. So I just sort of went back and forth between her hair and her fins the whole time to get them, I mean they don't match exactly, but to get them so that they were harmonious. I think her hair has way more orange in it than the fins do and less blue. Um, but yeah, I wanted them to look like they went together. And I really like orange as an accent color. Uh, uh, that orange thing you see in the background is actually a really thin cutting board. It's thicker than a piece of paper, but thinner than cardboard. And I use it when I'm doing like wet media in my sketchbook. So what you see here is just the final touches. And I've used a um, odorless mineral spirits to blend the colored pencils together. So I put that orange cutting board sort of thing in between the pages so that the wet would get on the next page in the sketchbook. And now I'm just sort of putting finishing touches on her fins um, using some white gel pen and some silver gel pen, I think, in there too, uh, to give her a little bit of highlight and shine. So there's her final look. And once again, thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And once again, don't be afraid to take a left. Bye.